slovenly recruits. It's about time to shape you into some actual soldiers. But we're gonna have to take you to the surgeon first, make sure you're healthy. Of course, you're gonna need two opposing teeth to always rip those cartridges in the middle of combat. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Sergeant, what did you tell these men? Well, they're gonna need two opposing teeth in their mouth to be able to rip the cartridges just like this. Watch carefully. Sergeant, there is nothing in any of our drill or manuals that state that these recruits only need to have two opposing teeth. Then how are they supposed to open the cartridge? Hmm. Look, Sergeant, while it certainly does help to have two opposing teeth to rip open those cartridges, it's a little more complex than that. Look at these recruits, young men for the most part. If young men like this only had two opposing teeth in their entire head, what do you think that says about their overall health? Oh, they're not very healthy. Exactly. Do you think they'd be able to stand up to the rigors of camp life then? Absolutely not. No, you know how difficult it is. What about if we were marching 20 miles a day on foot? Poor health. Do you think they'd make it? Oh, they'd fall right out. They would fall right out. Also, think about our food, preserved for the most part. Even when it's cooked, it's difficult for us to eat. How do you, difficult do you think it would be for recruits who barely have any teeth to eat that? Oh, they're already starving to death, clearly. I Clearly they are. So it's more nuanced than simply having two opposing teeth. No regulations mention that for our army. Hmm. Well, I see, Captain. I stand corrected. There you go. So for soldiers during the American Revolution, there really aren't any details in any military manuals requiring soldiers to have two opposing teeth in the same side of their head. There are a few manuals during the Civil War that do uh, recommend having a certain number of teeth or having some details, uh, but none of them specify two opposing teeth on the same side of the head for the tearing of cartridges. Most of them are focused around health. They're worried about the soldiers' ability to chew their food and their ability to, uh, well, go into the army without a major disease or crippling illness. And so for the soldiers, having teeth um, mattered, but not for the reasons that many people tend to give uh, when talking about it. So we hope that clarifies some things. Well, we hope you enjoyed this installment of our three minute myth series. If there's any myths that you'd like to see us tackle, feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Attention, slovenly recruits. All right, it's about time to go take you to see the surgeon. I am completely lost in my head. Sergeant, we have no regulations per our drill manual stating that these soldiers only need to have two opposing teeth. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know where we're